hello everyone and welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing well if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome and if you're returning thank you so so much i appreciate you all so my lovelies i i want to play this video for you guys to see yeah it's so so um pathetic what nigerian army is doing to their citizens so my lovelies, I'm going to leave you guys to watch this video and uh, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you feel about this whole, you know, situation. And, uh, and I will see you all in my next video. Stay blessed, stay beautiful, and I love you all. Bye. Bye, lovelies. And sass. Yeah, and sass. Actually, um, it's kind of a shame um, to see what's happening in Nigeria. Um, I just want to say something, you know, um, some months back, um, actually Jake, I know you don't know this, but, um, you have to know some months back, we saw some videos flying around, um, the military guys in Nigeria. Um, you see them pushing their, their tanks. They were actually sent out to, um, protect Nigeria from, um, um, this guy is called um, Boko Haram. So, we all knew that um, the Nigerian government are not doing very well. Like, they're not really taking care of these guys, you know? And we, the citizens, we actually did some things. Like, we shared videos because we want to help these guys, you know? And now, something came up. We all know that the government is not really doing a good job. Now something came up, it's called NSAS, but we all know that it's not just NSAS, okay? We are talking about the bad government, police brutality, and so many things, you know? So many things are not working well in Nigeria. And now, the citizens came up to speak for even the military guys. And now what do you do? Shoot them and kill them. Man, that's that's a shame, you know. You don't do that in the United States, right? Nope. What are the military supposed to do? Protect the citizens. Protect the citizens. These guys are out there speaking for you. You know, speaking so that whatever policies they are taking would work out for you as a military guy. But all you do is shoot them. That's a shame. This still brings me down to think about this. Like I, for one, I'm um, an evil man from the eastern part of Nigeria. Originally, I grew up in Oguagua, Banike, um, precisely. And then I asked myself a question, a simple question. Let's assume that um, I'm in 82 Division, which is in Enugu, and then some people are protesting in Obara Square and um, the general, or whatever it's called, um, calls me up and say, hey, you and um, 20 other um, military guys, you guys are going to go um, to Obara Square to stop the protesters or to shoot them. Do you think I, being an Enugu indigene, will open fire on um, a group of people whom that I know that we have 90% um, chances of my mother or father being in the group or even 99% chances of my brother or sister being in the group or even 60% chances of my friends or my nephews, nieces, cousins being in the group will I open a fire on them? I think the, the answer is no. no it's, I mean it's a shame, you're killing your own you know, man, answer us, it's, it's a shame I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm very disturbed with what the military did, and FYI, I'm not a military man. We are all we are out here duck hunting, you know. Um, yeah, safe. <laughs> Thank you, and um, rest in peace. Um, my love goes out to all um, the people who lost their life, you know, um, during this protest, and um, I believe something is gonna come out of this. Do you have a word for us? I know you don't. Good. All right, then. Take care, boys.